Good morning. This is for Storybook Corner that requested I do a favorite roll doll poem, The Porcupine. So here it goes. Once more with Dirty Beats. The Porcupine. Each Saturday I shout, Hooray! For that's my pocket money day. Although it's clearly understood, I only get it when I'm good. This week my parents had been told that I had been as good as gold. So after breakfast, 50p my generous father gave to me. Like lightning down the road I ran until I reached the sweet shop man and bought the chocolates of my dreams, a great big bag of raspberry creams. There is a secret place I know where I quite often like to go, beyond the wood, behind some rocks, a super place for guzzling chalk. When I arrived, I quickly found a comfy looking little mound, quite clean and round and earthy brown, just right, I thought, for sitting down. Here I will sit all morning long and eat until my chocks are gone. I sat, I screamed, I jumped a foot. Would you believe that I had put that tender little rump of mine upon a giant porcupine? My backside seemed to catch on fire. A hundred red hot bits of wire, a hundred prickles sticking in and puncturing my precious skin. I ran for home. I shouted, Mom, behold the prickles in my bum. My mom, who was always keeps her head, bent down to look and then she said, I personally am not about to try to pull those prickles out. I think a job like this requires the services of Mr. Myers. I shouted, not the dentist, no, oh mom, why don't you have a go? I begged her twice, I begged her thrice, but grown-ups never take advice. She said, a dentist very strong, he pulls things out the whole day long. She drove me quickly into town, and then they turned me upside down upon the awful dentist chair while two strong nurses held me there. Enter the dreaded Mr. Myers waving a massive pair of pliers. This is, he cried with obvious glee, a new experience for me. Quite honestly, I can't pretend I've ever pulled things from this end. He started pulling one by one and yelling, my, oh my, what fun. I shouted, help, I shouted, ow. He said, it's nearly over now. For heaven's sake, don't squirm about. Here goes, the last one's coming out. The dentist pulled and out it came. And then I heard the man exclaim, let us now talk about the fees. That will be fifty guineas, please. My mother is a gutsy bird and never one to mince a word. She cried, by gosh, that's jolly steep. He answered, no, it's very cheap. My dear woman, can't you see that if it hadn't been for me, this child could go another year with prickles sticking in her rear. So that was that. Oh, what a day and what a fuss. But by the way, I think I know why porcupines surround themselves with prickly spines. It is to stop some silly clown from squashing them by sitting down. Don't copy me. Don't be a twit. Be sure you look before you sit. So that was The Porcupine by Roald Dahl. Let me show you the illustrations because I neglected to do that. I'm sorry that I'm a little stuffy. Allergy season. All right. So here we have. She's getting excited. Ooh, she made a mistake there. <laughs> uh, this illustration is cracking up. Look how excited I do this. Wait, hold on. Get a good look. <laughs> I'm pulling these out. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> Uh, oh, I should say that the illustrations are done by Quentin Blake, and he is amazing. He does a lot of the illustrations for old doll stuff, and I think he's the bomb. Yo. So that's it. That's the porcupine. If you have any um, requests of anything, it doesn't even have to be rolled doll. If it's something I can find, I'll do my best to recite that for you. Uh, otherwise, have a great Sunday, guys. Bye-bye.